What's going on guys? What's happening? How's everyone doing this Sunday evening? We're going to be playing some Forza tonight. Talking to you guys. Seeing how y'all doing. Let's get another. Let's, let's get a different jam playing. It's a solid jam right here. How's everyone doing? Holy cow, it's been, it feels like forever since I streamed. It's probably only been since Tuesday, but it feels like a really, really long time. Because when I first started streaming, I was probably streaming, what, two times a week for like three weeks in a row? So, cool cats in here, lunatic, guys, gosh, the regulars are here. Holy smokes. Guys, what's going on? What is happening? The weekend's winding down. Thanks for spending it with me. There's just a few of you in here, but I appreciate it. If it's just one of you, I still appreciate it. What did you guys do this weekend? Anything special? Do anything? See anyone? Anything fun? Anything out of the norm? Just go anywhere good to eat? What do you have to eat? Let me know. Let me know what's going on. Oh, a lot of exciting stuff. A lot of exciting stuff, guys. But let me know if this stream's working for you. On my end, it's just loading. Um, so maybe I'll do a little refresh to make sure you guys are seeing what I'm recording. So, no, nope. okay, I refreshed it and it looks like it's working just fine. So, Michael's saying, work, work, work. Yeah, that's what you're doing all weekend, huh? Good to see Michael. Mark's here, just finished my third 12 hour shift. Holy smokes. Mark, remind me, what do you do again? I know all of you have told me what you do before. There's no way I can remember. There's no way. It's very difficult for me to remember what you guys do, but stream is working for Al Alex is here. Looking good, bro. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. I'm sure you're looking good too, Mark. No homo, right? And if you're homo, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. No issues here. New York State Corrections Officer. That sounds uh, that sounds familiar, Michael. That sounds familiar. Oh man, I should probably turn off the music because it's just like kind of on repeat. Let's see what else I can pull up for you though. This one's pretty intense, but I like it. Factory worker making paper cups for Tim Hortons and Starbucks sucks but pays the bills? Mark, I don't think you ever told me that. Peter, what's up? Factory worker making paper cups? So, Mark, what's the difference in, in the cups? Is there diff any difference other than the stuff that's printed on them from Tim Hortons to Starbucks? Let me know. And what is your opinion? Starbucks or Tim Hortons. Now, Tim Hortons is not here in America, to my knowledge. I'm, I love Starbucks. I, I mean, you can call me a sellout. 
It's all right. I enjoy a good Starbucks iced coffee with cream. Me and my wife love Starbucks, but we don't get that, that you know, that foo-foo. Tons of sugar, tons of whipped cream, tons of fake, fake flavors. No, no. Then you can't taste the coffee, so we just do cream, half and half, whatever they put in it, iced ice, and then their coffee. So it's simple. We get the third of the, the Trenta, the, or the, is that what they call it? Right, the Venti's 20, Trenta. I know Spanish better than Italian, so I know Trenti. Maybe they call it Trenti instead of Trenta. Mick Lovin is in. Toyota needs to bring back the MR2. 100% agree. Okay, I'm turning off the music because we're, we're starting to already. I haven't, haven't even haven't even started racing one game. You guys are already talking big topics here. Peter got a new car. Went ahead and bought the IS350 all-wheel drive. Absolutely love it. Best purchase ever. Love Lexus. Heart, heart, heart. Peter, congratulations, man. That is amazing. IS350 all-wheel drive. Great vehicle. Awesome car. Congratulations. Couldn't be happy. Now, did you <clears throat> did you get uh, an F Sport model? Uh, if so, if not, let me know. And what kind of color combination you get? Paint, interior, let me know. And which wheels? I don't think you would get the base wheels on that. Those are like the five spokes. I rarely see that. Uh, if it's an F Sport, you get the, it's technically five spoke, but it's like a split spoke. They look like pitchforks. Pretty cool though. I love I love the F Sport wheels on the ice. Let me know what you got. Okay, so back to McLovin. Toyota needs to bring back the MR2 with a three and a half liter V6 and a dual clutch trans. Hey, that sounds good to me. They just need to bring it back. Now they all they they're gonna bring it back. They need to bring it back also in a six speed. You got to. You know how many more people would have bought and would be buying the new Supra if it had a six speed. People don't care if it's faster or not. Like there's a dual clutch or the eight speed automatic that's currently in in the uh, Supra is gonna be way faster than a manual. But people don't want that. People want engagement and there's nothing that brings more engagement than a manual transmission you guys are welcome to disagree with that alex super excited for the is so many engines they could put into it yeah you must have watched my video on the the future of the is we'll be getting one a little over a year from now a new a new is i should say uh, and who knows? It's it's completely up in the air. They could put anything in that vehicle, especially especially if it's going to be sharing the same platform as a Crown, which I learned just recently. The G the current GS might be sharing the platform with a previous Crown, um, and I did a little research into that, and it looks like the G the GS is the only Lexus produced in the. Japanese plant that produces the crown so maybe they move the IS over there I don't know we'll see it's pretty exciting stuff pretty exciting okay Mark got back to me on the on the different cup shapes uh, slightly different shape cup and the print that's it I don't drink coffee coffee is for the week hey you know, I used to not drink coffee. I can definitely get by without it. Um, and oftentimes it's, it sabotages me. I'm pretty sensitive to caffeine. And if I drink too much, like I get twitchy and anxious. Um, but I still love it. I like the taste of coffee. I enjoy the ritual of grinding my own beans. Um, just doing it in the morning. I love doing it. And then enjoying my first cup of coffee. And regardless of who you are, your first cup of coffee in the morning gets the bowels moving. I haven't met anyone that it doesn't do it that too. It's it's awesome. It's like a ritual. Make your coffee, drink your coffee, go take a poop. That's how it is. 
Peter. Thanks, man. Nebula Gray, F Sport, red interior. Cheers, man. Cheers. That's awesome. Top of the line went all out. Congratulations, man. Couldn't be happier for you. So you got the Mark Lev in it. You got the adaptive variable suspension. Uh, you probably have the triple beam LED headlights. It's really, really cool. Michael says, wish the Mark Lev sound, sound system was stronger. Toyota needs to follow Forza, their licenses back to the car. Yeah. I agree. Toyota needs to allow Forza to bring the cars back into their games. Because that that's a big reason why I'm playing this game here. Because mo most of the newer Forza games, especially Forza Horizon 4, I know for sure doesn't have any... Uh, Toyota or Lexus vehicles and to me that's just bizarre like that's free marketing I don't understand why you wouldn't allow a game to do that it's 100% free marketing I don't I don't get it if you guys if you guys can riddle me why Toyota like Toyota came out and publicly said said something about it which didn't make any sense and if you guys know know what they said about it like they're why they don't allow Toyota games or Toyota vehicles and for uh, Forza games anymore? Just let me know. And once I start talking and racing, it's just it gets really sloppy because I'm thinking more than I'm racing. If that makes sense. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Going to get a 2020 RX3. Congratulations, Michael. When you get it, let me know. Freaking awesome. You should get the LFA in Forza Horizon 3, says Rubber Band Man Destruction. Cool. Uh, cool name, that's what I mean. Cool name. I don't know if I've seen you in here before. Well, yes, I do have the LFA in this game. Um, you can't do, well, you probably, if you customize it, you could probably do just about every race with it. You know, as much as I love the LFA in real life in the game, I don't like it that much. It's, it's, yeah. In the game, the game, it doesn't do that well. I'll just say that, but I love, I love it. I love the LFA. Antoine's in the house. Hello, everyone. Uh, Peter, it's my dream car. You got it, sir. The sound system is amazing. Not sure how much longer one needs it, or stronger one needs it. Mine pumps heavy sound. Yeah, dude. the thing is, Mark Levinson and... Probably all the vehicles. I haven't tested the RX that much with the Mark Lev, but just about all the other Mark, Le especially the new ES, uh, the GS is pretty loud. Um, even the old ES was sounded really good with the Mark Lev, which is pretty rare to get Mark Lev in an older ES, like a 2018 and older. Um, I've never felt like I wanted more sound out of a Mark Levinson system. I get to about 50 on the uh, dial. And it's it's almost too much for me. I think I've gotten to about 55 before cruising. It's just, and that's windows up, by the way. Windows down would be different, but windows up, it's really loud. Really loud. And it still sounds good when it's that loud. Andy Man 4. Toyota got tired of Forza calling Lexus an American car. I don't understand. Did they categorize uh, Lexus is an American car in the game or something. That's interesting. I don't know what to say about that. Huh. A Lexus started as an American car. Lexus, when Lexus started, it was only in America. So maybe that's why the game does it that way. I don't know. Okay. I should probably race a little bit. You guys are probably getting bored of hearing me talk. I don't know. Some... Some, for some of you, that's the only reason why you come to hear me talk about Toyota and Lexus, but that's okay.
Weird. Every Forza game has Lexus as an American car. That's perplexing. Um, it's made for the American market originally and still primarily is, even though China per, uh, surpassed it a few months ago. Um, China surpassed Lexus sales in America a few months ago. Was it maybe March or something? Which is usually really slow time for Lexus dealers in America. Um, and another reason why I surpassed it, I think, is because it was a Chinese New Year that that time of year, and so they probably had all sorts of incentives. Uh, and there's probably other social economical reasons why a bunch of Lexuses were sold at that time in China. But yeah. It's it's very global now. It's going to be in Mexico in a couple of years. It's been much, much wanted in that country for a long, long time, um, which I'm surprised it wasn't in Mexico already because it's in like Costa Rica and Panama, which are much smaller countries. Now, there, there's a lot more uh, rich people maybe in those countries. There's a, there's a larger middle and, 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 uh, upper class in those countries. So Peter says, how loud does one really need music in a car? It's a clarity and sharp, crisp sounds that I appreciate. Thanks for your help. I did a five year, five year lease. Five year lease is a thing. Five-year leases don't exist in America, to my knowledge. We do four-year leases at the longest. Holy smokes, five-year lease. That's that's cool, though. That's pretty cool. Paul Berkmans says, Toyota is partnering with Suzuki in India and rebadging Suzuki cars with Toyota badge and selling them there or selling them here. Paul, are you in India? That's cool. If you're from India... Greatest welcome. With a Paul Berkman's name, I'm assuming you're not Indian, but maybe you moved there, uh, maybe for work or something, but that's pretty cool. Uh, I like Suzuki. Um, it's too bad that they're no longer in America. Um, I don't know. I know sales was a big reason why they left. I don't know if how reliable their cars are per se, um, but I know their motorcycles are very reliable, especially their motors are, are some of the best in the motorcycle world. So that's pretty cool. I do like Suzuki and I like, to be honest, I like pretty much all the Japanese car brands. I know my channel is mainly about Lexus and a little bit about Toyota, but I love Mazda. I'm so, so I, I don't know if I love, I can say I love Subaru, but I respect them. Um, so I know I like Hondas too. They're all right. They're all right. Mini, Mini is mainly a UK brand, but labeled as a German make and Forza because BMW owns it. Right. Right. So shouldn't they label Lexus as a Japanese brand? Because most of them are made in Japan and most of them are... Well, the whole brand is owned by Toyota and created by Toyota. 60-month lease. That is crazy. Hey, Peter, if you don't mind me asking, because I'm just curious, because it's a different country, different leasing terms. What is your monthly payment? What is your monthly payment in Canadian dollars? Because I'm curious what... Because in, in a lot of our... It doesn't make sense in, in America a lot of the times. I think I did. A, I pulled up some leases on an IS recently, and it literally makes no sense to lease it longer for three years because the residual drops. There's other factors as as well. The payment goes up after like three years on an IS a lot of the time. Not every time, I'm sure, but a lot of the time, it just doesn't make sense. So it's pretty interesting. I would like to maybe upgrade to an ES next year or in the next few years. I pray to God. ES gets all wheel drive. I like that it's regular gas. You could put regular gas. You're leasing your car too. 
you're releasing your IS, you can put regular in it. No, one, it's going to run okay. It's not going to like backfire or misfire or anything like that. And you're leasing it. So at the end of five years, you can just get rid of it. It's not like you're owning it forever. Um, and even then, if you put regular in it, it's not going to probably hurt the engine at all. They just recommend it. And then they, a lot of the time, in some of the cars, I think, yeah, and like the, the IS, that, that three and a half liter in the IS, I think they spec the EPA numbers, which I don't know if you have EPA. You probably have something similar in Canada. And then also the, um, so that would be the miles per gallon and the horsepower they spec at premium fuel. So that's why they recommend it. Monthly payment, $600 Canadian. Okay, let me think here. Let me think here. Four fifty-five. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That that that's a four hundred fifty-five dollars for a five-year lease. That's pretty good. Yeah, sounds like you got a decent deal there. Mark says in Woodstock, Ontario. We make the RX. Yeah, you assemble a ton of RXs. Most of our RX is in, I guess, probably the Western Hemisphere come from Ontario. So, well, maybe I should say most of the RXs from, and, and North America come from Ontario. Paul Berkman's, I don't know about Suzuki outside India, uh, but the reputation isn't up there for liability here yes I'm from India and that could be for their cars to be honest I know their motorcycles are very very well made their cars there's probably a reason they didn't succeed here in America so reliability could have been one of those issues Cambridge Ontario that's right makes the RX and soon the NX you're right so what do you guys think? Now, this is a very controversial subject. I don't know enough about it to give you an opinion. I know many people on my channel and comments, sorry, on, on many videos have, have an opinion on this, is that the Japanese built vehicles for Lexus and Toyota for that matter are much better than the outsourced assembly vehicles in North America. Do you guys have an opinion on that? That is a very, and maybe I'll make a video on it eventually. I just don't know where to get the information. I'd, I'd, I'd probably have to interview people at my, or anonymous, anonymously interview people at my dealership to get information on this. That's re reliable information. Um, I've heard in the deal, and where I work that the Japanese built vehicles are better made. There's less issues with them. The quality control is better. Um, it's just a better product overall. But I, I personally have no way to confirm that other than I do have one instance. And that was when the ESF Sport came out. The ES... The ESF Sport uh, was produced and is still produced here in America uh, in uh, Lexington, Kentucky. I think that's what it's called. No, Georgetown, Kentucky. Georgetown, Kentucky. And there were some issues with the seats and the steering wheel uh, fit and finish that wasn't up to my, I guess, how do I want to put it? it wasn't up to the standards of the rest of the Lexus vehicles that I see on a daily basis. Uh, it looked kind of sloppily done. There were creases in it. The stitching didn't look quite right. Um, and that was right when the ESF Sport came out. So I feel like if that was the case, maybe that vehicle was rushed out a little early, the F Sport, and they were just trying to meet demand and cutting corners. Now, I don't know if that's true, but to me and my perspective, it didn't, it was definitely not up to the spec of the vehicles I see on a day-to-day -day basis. So now have I seen that issue since then? No, no. It was just like the first couple. I it was probably the first two ESF sports that I saw that I'm like, 
well, that doesn't look quite right. Um, but I haven't seen it since. So maybe that's, you know, it's a whole new vehicle being produced down in, in a Georgetown, Kentucky, um, that they never made before. So I guess I give them a little bit of leeway there. Um, but it's, yeah, it's unfortunate to see, but I haven't seen it since. So, and I'm sure you guys just put a bunch of comments in there that I got to catch up on because I just went on a rant. Ontario makes the RX and the NX Woodstock. Ontario builds a RAV4. Okay. Paul says Toyota recently launched Glanza. It's a rebadged Suzuki Bal- Baleno. Got to look that up. Suzuki Baleno. Okay, interesting. Okay. It's it to me it kind of looks like a a Toyota Matrix. Uh, okay, the worst part is they are manufactured at Suzuki plant. The only difference is a Toyota badge and a slightly different grill. Well, you know what? Toyota does that with the Yaris, uh, which is a Mazda two, or is it? Yeah, a Mazda two, through and through. It's straight up Mazda. They just rebadged it. Um, and they also do that with the Supra. The Supra is essentially a rebadge. No, it's it's not as simple as a rebadge. There's more that goes into the Supra compared to the BMW counterpart, but essentially that's what it is. And the same thing with the uh, BRZ. The BRZ and the Toyota 86 are the same vehicle. They were uh, designed together. That's different, though, because they were designed by um, Subaru and Toyota, and they just change the badge on it um so yeah interesting interesting now you could say the supra was also co-engineered with bmw um but the yaris is straight up a rebadging of a of a mazda 2. speaking of lease my 16 gx lease is up in december keep going back and forth whether to buy a gsf So what's your dilemma, Andy? Is it, a, is it a GSF? What's the other vehicle? You want to get a G- 2020 GX? Because in December, you'll have the 2020 GX, which is, has Lexus Safety System Plus. You also have the option for um, some sort of off-road package that we don't have a whole lot of details on, in my, in my opinion. I don't know how much different it's going to be. Um... I mean, unless you need a third row, I'd go for the GSF as money is no option. GSF is not going to be made for much longer, maybe a year more or two at the most. So Peter believably, Peter believes highly in the Japanese build quality over anywhere else, in a, anywhere else in a Lexus or Toyota. They're better made. I truly feel they're more sticker, oh, more stricter and take more pride in their overall build quality. Stricter, possibly more pride, a hundred percent. That is their culture. That is a hundred percent. The Japanese culture is to do things better and better and, and like focus their entire life over it. Where in America, I guarantee most of them just see it as a job, a nine to five. Yes, they'll do a good job. Um, and they're required to do a good job up to Lexus and Toyota standards. But there is a difference. There has to be something something said about the difference in terms of the passion that goes into it. And like, it's just their expertise. And um, gosh, what do they call them? The kai, Kaizen is, the, is the, the word that means constant improvement. And then you have the, the Takumi, which are the people that are the artisans or, or the masters of a particular subject. So, um, are there any Takumi in America? No, I don't think there are. Nope, nope, nope. That doesn't mean there can't be a an American Takumi. There absolutely can be. I don't think they've they've had enough time on the vehicles to become a complete master. I think what is it? They say thirty thousand or sixty thousand hours. It's something absurd. Um minimum to become a master or takumi in a particular thing so 
with the IS because yeah. Peter says he went with the IS because it is built in a Japan plant. I have no issue with that. Oh, Andy says I could keep the GX. Well, yeah, if you want to go the cheaper route, uh, the GX is going to be a, a good buy. Those things last forever. Built in Japan, by the way. What do I think of the new Supra, says Sunny Boy. Sunny Boy, ha I don't think, has said anything in the stream. And he comes in with a bombshell. Sunny Boy. We'll get, I'll get, get back to that. Peter says Kaizen continues improvement. Yep. Is that, isn't that what I said? Continual improvement or always getting better? It's the same thing. It's a different translation. So, um, Sunny Boy. I might, I might have to take a drink before I answer of what do I think about the new Supra. By the way, if you guys haven't watched my video on um, the, the ideal JDM coupe, is it the Supra or the RCF, please watch that video. By the way, I take the RCF every single time. Every single time. Every single time I take the RCF over the Supra. Okay, I'll I'll take a I'll take a drink real quick, gather my thoughts on the Supra, which I'm not an expert on, by the way, not even close, but I will take a drink, think about it, and then give you my thoughts on the Supra. Peter says he likes the LC five hundred. Peter, if you didn't like the LC500, I would question your humanity. The LC500 is a is an iconic vehicle through and through. I'll just leave it at that. Raphael, what's going on? Rafael, Rafael, oh man, Raffaello, 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 Shizishin? Raf, Rafa, I'll just call you Raphael or Rafa. Where are you from? That name is out of this world. I don't think I've ever seen that name before, at least that last name. I've seen variation. Raphael's, of course, the, named after the Archangel. Uh, P. Lee, what P. Lee, what's going on? Build in Japan or U.S. should still fall under the same quality control. Amen. And it does. It does 100%. Excuse me. Um, the quality control is the same. They still abide by the same uh, code. Maybe that's the right word. Um, when I did my ES training in Kansas City, when the 2019 ES was coming out uh, last year, they showed us a couple booklets that the technicians or the manufacturer people, I don't know what the right word for them is, the things that they had to know, there was an... Can you guys see? There was a notebook, or I guess it was a binder, about this big of laminated step-by-step -step things that the people in Georgetown, Kentucky had to know. And it was duplicated from the factories in Japan. Um, it's extremely impressive. Those guys, what they do in Georgetown, Georgetown, Kentucky, and Japan is anything short of impressive. It is very admirable what they're able to do and how serious they take their job. But the the thing is, what I was saying earlier is that the Japanese culture is like, that is their life. They may get off work, have a drink, go out to eat, maybe see their family, and they go back to work again. That's like what they do. That's, just, that's what's expected of them. That is a cultural requirement of them as well. It's a, it's a different world uh, over there in Japan. Uh, bye -bye. Poland. Rafael. Rafael, I'll just call you Rafa. Rafa's from Poland. Thank you for joining. What time is it in Poland? Now, you guys probably have several time zones. Poland time. 2 a.m. What the heck are you doing up at 2 a.m. watching me? There's no reason you should be watching me at 2 a.m. in the morning. Two in the morning. What is wrong with you, Rafa? Whatever I have to say, I get, I'm not even playing a game. Like, you guys have no inner... Well, I, I guess me sounding off on certain things. That's somewhat entertaining. I'm not even playing a game. You guys are still watching. Thank you for watching, by the way. 
Uh, Peter, it's pride and workmanship that the Japanese have a higher level, in my opinion, over anyone else. Yep, that's a different way of saying kind of what I said. Andy says, love the 2020 RCF seats. I noticed Lexus won't let you use certain interior trims with certain exterior colors. Yep, that's true. It's like that on any vehicle Lexus builds. Uh, that's the way it is. There's no way you're going, going to get certain trims um, on a non-luxury build that are only found in the luxury builds. So that's just the way it is. And then I could go into the F-Sports as well. Yeah, the, the new RCF is nice. Says Sunny Boy. I like the redesign, the headlights, and the rear lights. Yeah, the, well, it's not really a redesign. It's more of a refresh. But for a refresh, I think they did an incredibly good job. I think it's an awesome. Now, I have ran into some people on my channel that are like, oh, I like the, the current or the, the previous RCF headlights and taillights. I don't. I don't see it. I think it's it's a big upgrade and it looks great because there wasn't anything wrong with the RC or the RCF previously. I thought I thought it looked great for the most part. You had the weird claw marks on the back bumper that didn't make any sense, and they got rid of that. Thank God. Uh, and then the headlights are a big improvement. They had that check mark uh, that was separate from the headlight. While it didn't look bad, it just they're getting away from that. They cleaned it up. They went with a more minimal design and they incorporated that that daytime running light into the heads up or I should say the uh, the nighttime lights, same module for the lights. So it looks awesome uh, on the new RCs and the new RCF. I love the triple beams on the new RCs, by the way. Rafa, I just can't sleep, so I'm looking for some good people to talk to. Well, hopefully you found some good people to talk to. Um, thanks for joining the stream at 2 a.m. Holy cow, man! I haven't been I haven't been up to 2 a.m. in a long, long, long time. So real quick on the Supra, um, yeah, Sunny doesn't like the claw marks on the RC on the previous RC either. The Supra guys, the Supra is. Should I just, let me do this. If I start racing again, I'll put it back up for you guys. But the the Supra, in my opinion, it's a fast car. I'm talking about the 2020 Supra, the new Supra. Uh, it's a fast car, good amount of power, great acceleration, light. Uh, it's gonna do amazing on a track. I think it's pretty customizable, which a lot of people wanted and have always liked about the RC. Oh, sorry, the, the Supra. Uh, but it's a BMW. It's still a BMW through and through. And BMWs are not Japanese made. That's the issue I have with it. They could They could have... They thought, so Toyota thought that an inline six was more important than it being Japanese, so they went that route. To me, I could disagree. Um, Japanese is more important to the Supra than the inline six. It's not, a, it's not like a successor to the 2JZ anyways, uh, the BMW motor. I'm nothing against a BMW motor. I think it's a good motor. I don't know how reliable it's going to be, but it is a great motor when you're just looking at design, horsepower, and torque. It's a good motor. The reliability, I don't know. And that's what the, the Supra was known for. Like, Japanese reliability, bulletproof, iron block, that 2JZ motor... They came out with a 3UZ motor. Uh, am, I, am I even saying it right? 2UZ? I'm probably getting it JZ. UZ is the, is the V8s that Lexus uses. The JZ is the, the Supra inline 6 motor. The 2JZ is iconic. It's one of the biggest motors ever made in the tuning market, the automotive culture. It's it's. It's legendary. It's like a saint. That motor is a saint. And Lexus, or I should say Toyota, decided to... I guess, I guess, 
the Supra wouldn't have been the Supra without, without that motor, right? It wouldn't have been because people, the, the, the Supra was like this crazy vehicle that maybe had two to 300, I don't even know what the horsepower was stock. Let's say 300 horsepower, the twin turbo, uh, two JZ. People were able to modify it on the original block to a thousand horsepower. That's insane. That's that's not doable to, by dis, by today's standards. And so, what what real fans of the Supra and Toyota, what real fans wanted, was a fully JDM coupe, not co-design. If they co-designed it with anyone, they should have co-designed it with another Japanese manufacturer, not BMW. Now, BMW makes incredibly sport specific and sport uh intrinsic vehicles like no one can deny their prowess in the performance realm but lovers of the supra don't want that they don't want a german vehicle otherwise they would go buy a bmw they go buy a mercedes they go buy i don't know a lamborghini if you guys know i'm talking about there um I don't know where else I'm going with this Supra thing, but, oh, don't even get me started. It should have been, they should have offered a six-speed manual. And I, I will stop talking about the Supra right there. Should have been fully JDM. I don't care what motor they put in it. Some sort of six-cylinder. I would have been okay with the V6, a twin-turbo V6. Heck, put the three-and-a-half-liter twin-turbo in the LS. That's fine. But instead, they chose to go with a German competitor. So, anyways, uh, RCF can't do the red black cabin interior on the red exterior. Does it break Lexus logic if I made that combo? That's what I'd really happily pay 80k for. Yeah, they just won't do it. They won't do it. They don't. There's certain color combinations they don't. They don't let people do. Uh, they just don't do it. It's interesting, but they have a reason why they don't do it. A lot of it is is uh, manufacturing reasons, but like efficiency manufacturing. Like I'm not going to get into that too much because I, one, I'm not an expert, and two, it might not be true. So, but yeah, they just. It's their vehicle essentially, and they don't want it to be color comboed a certain way. They call the shots ultimately. Uh, why does Lexus use a side swinging rear door on the GX? It's a great question. And it's a question I have trouble answering. Um, if a customer asks me, I say, hey, you know, you have this third row of seats here and you have about six inches from the third row of seats to that back door. And so Lexus needed a really, really, really sturdy, solid, heavy door, super heavy door to protect that third row of passengers. Um, and, and safety is very, very important to Lexus. And so it was that door is so substantial that it, it, it is not able to lift uh, on traditional shocks or it wouldn't have been up to their liking. So they made it swing out instead of lift up. Um, now, is that true? I don't know. That's what I That's what I have to tell myself and to tell others. I don't know 100%. Um, the Forerunner is a very similar vehicle, right? But their hatch lifts up instead of out like a regular door. So that's all I got on the GX door. That's all I got. It says Dragon. Dragon. That sounds like Drogon, which is a dragon from uh, Game of Thrones. But Peter, Peter's lighting up the chat tonight, by the way. I'm not liking Lexus and BW partnership for the new IS motor. Well, we don't know if it's going to be in the IS. So slow down there. I don't. Oh, let me fix my camera, by the way. Holy smokes. Guys, I'm, I'm so overexposed. It's not even. It's not even funny.
Let me fix the camera real quick. Jeez. Nope. This webcam is, it was very affordable and it's a good webcam, but it doesn't do that well with changing lights. So the sun is setting, there's a window in front of me, the lighting is changing every, well, it's constantly changing, but you know what I mean, you know what I mean. It doesn't do that great with changing lights. Who? okay, 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 okay. All Lexus, all Japanese, yep, 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 yep. P. Lee, is Lexus working on integrating driving info on AR Smart Glass? You see the driving data, GPS weather, turn in your line of sight. Uh, P. Lee, it sounds like you're talking about a heads-up display, essentially, and that is in a lot of Lexus vehicles currently. I don't know if I'm answering your question or if I'm understanding your question properly. 3N is here. 3N, what's going on? Now 3N, I have a question for you. When I'm on my computer, your thumbnail is like the simple looking red car. But when I pull you, when you're, when I, when I see you comment on my videos on my phone, you're like a, it's like an anime girl, which is really confusing. Your, your thumbnail changes depending on the device I see you on. It's really bizarre. What color combo do I like best on an IS? Well, your col color combo is pretty dang strong. The, uh, I think you said you have atomic silver with the red interior. Uh... You know, I'd probably go with the ultrasonic Mica Blue 2.0 with a red interior. Those are like Spider-Man colors. That's pretty baller. Uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Cryfy Cryf, Mike Wellington's in the house. Dude, what's going on? Except you spelled my name wrong. You said Creefy Creef instead of Cryfy Cryf, but whatever. I know what you meant. I'm talking so much, my beer is getting warm. That is unacceptable, except it's okay. Sorry, hit the mic. It's okay because it's a cheap beer. Do you guys recognize that beer? It's like a special edition uh, can of some sort. But it's PBR, P Paps Blue Ribbon. I probably haven't had a PBR in several years. They're so cheap. I don't mind the taste of them. In college, I drink it all the time. I still have no issue with it, and uh, there, I have a lot of uh, a lot of memories with this, a lot of memories with this beer. So, Grizzle, I don't know if you already answered this before, but when can we expect the next generation Lexus NX to be released? Fall of twenty twenty for new NX. Peter, if you know something I don't, I hope that's true. The NX, a new NX needs to be out as soon as possible. I'd love for it to be in 2020. My gut is telling me fall of 2020, or I guess it would be summer of 2021. Summer of 2021, because the NX came, so the NX came out as a 2015. Uh, so you had the 15, 16, 17 three years they had refreshed for 18 19 20 technically in traditional standards 2021 2021 should be a redesign i don't know if we're going to get i don't think we're going to get a redesign to be honest i think we're going to have to wait until the the year of 2021, which would be a 2022 model, to get a, a, the next NX, which is really really unfortunate, um, because the NX, although a great vehicle, um, there are like the the new RDX came out and it is better in uh, not a lot of ways, but in a few ways, and that is unacceptable as as uh, for Lexus in my opinion, they should be better in every way even if they have to charge more for it. So 
That's what I think about that. Um, the GX side swinging door is because Japanese drives on the opposite side and when park on side streets, it opens from the left. Yeah, but that doesn't, that was never corrected for the American GX as the rear door still opens. Well, it doesn't, no, it's it's not the left or the right side that matters for buyers in America. It's the fact that it opens like a normal, like, door. It, it should be a hatch instead of a door. That's the issue people have with it. Not not the, the fact that it opens from the left, not the right. What's the price of an ES in US? Can you guess the price of ES in India? Yeah, I, I'll guess the price of an ES in India. So let's say an ES300H here in America depends on the build. Uh, but let's just say 45 grand as a like premium model. You can get it specced up to like 53 grand probably. And that's just stick. I'm just talking sticker prices right now. Uh, India typically prices are like three to four times more, sometimes less. Um, I'm gonna say in India they're gonna charge one ten, a hundred and ten thousand dollars. I don't know what that is in rupees for a three hundred hybrid. Hopefully, hopefully I'm close. Hundred and ten, hundred ten thousand dollars for an ES hybrid in India. I don't know what's going on with my profile picture. Three and I don't either, dude. I don't know. Mark says drink more, bro. I'm trying. Uh, you guys just have so many. I have 25 people watching. I'm not, and I, I'm trying to play a game, but you guys are are talking so much that I'm unable to play my game. That's all right, because when I play the game, I can't talk, uh, and when I focus on talking, which most of you are here for, I can't play the game. So whatever, it is what it is. Shame on you for that warm beer, says McLovin. Dude, guys, if you stopped talking for like five seconds, I'd be able to drink this beer. It's been, it's been, I cracked this beer probably like 40 minutes ago and I'm like halfway in. Oh, well, then McLovin says the penalty for that warm beer is a shot of tequila. Awesome. It just so happens I love tequila. However, I don't have any tequila here at my place, so unless you want to buy me a shot sometime, I'll, I'll take that. Maybe maybe it's a rain check. Michael, Michael Kim. Michael, Michael, have you been in here? Has Michael Kim been in here? I don't think I've seen Michael Kim in the chat before now. Michael's hit me with something. Uh, I heard that Lexus might bring back the GS as an A7 competitor. Now... Michael, um, I love go. I love to go down the GS route. I have spoke about it fairly recently. It's getting pretty bright in here. Let me see if I can change that so I'm not so washed out. That's better. Um, I'd love to talk about the GS more, but I should probably just save it for a video. Are we going to get the LC500 headlights and tailing the next IS and new RC? No. Nope. 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 We're not. Um, anything's possible, but those are too expensive probably to put in the new IS and RC. Now, here's a, here's a fun fact is that the LC500's headlights are the same triple beam headlights, it's just a different configuration. It's the same headlights you see in the LS, the upcoming GX, the 2020 GX, uh, the 2018 and newer uh, NX, probably the UX triple beams, which I haven't seen yet. You will see those triple beams in the UX in, in uh, anywhere outside of America, they're available in America, but the, it's like a special order only sort of thing at this time being. Later on down the road, we'll see them more often. Where else are those, those triple beams in the LCN currently? Oh, they're going to be in the 2020 RX. Uh, they're in the ES. Typically, you see them in the F Sports in the ES, although you can get them in a luxury build or ultra luxury ability ES. So... 
Uh, gosh, I'm trying to catch up. David, what's up, David? David Fremen, Freeman, Freemine, Fremen. I was told years ago that the head, head engineer on the GX wanted the door to open that way. It was called an ambulance door. I, I mean, I guess there's some, some pros to it. Ambulance door, meaning that you can, I don't, slide bodies in and out easier. Maybe cargo in and out easier. I don't know. It's not what people want, though, in America. I'll tell you that. Some people don't care, but people that do care, it's like a deal breaker for them. Alex says, Michael, if that's true, that would be awesome, but I'd kind of doubt it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You guys can sound off in the chat about the GS. I'm going to I'm going to hold my breath on it for now. You want every new Lexus will have triple beam LEDs. Pretty pretty much not standard though. It's not standard. The GX so which vehicles? Here here's the deal. The triple beams do come standard in some vehicles. Quite a few actually. Uh the RCF, the GSF, uh, the LC, the LS, the LX, uh, and the new GX. I think that's all, I think it's six vehicles Lexus makes that it is standard triple beams. Standard triple. Hey, guys, by the way, if you didn't know, uh, you can donate to the channel um, in, the, in the live chat. If you guys want me to expound exponentially on a certain question or topic you can donate i'll talk to you in depth about that question or comment you have uh, even though i probably am but i'd i'd really appreciate it as well hey uh shameless plug you guys probably have seen this i've been talking about it for a long time now uh, uh a long time is like a week when I decided I'm going to do monthly giveaways on the channel and you enter yourself on the monthly giveaways by supporting on the Patreon page. Um, I can, I'll, I'll put a link to it. Andy, man, donate a dollar. Okay. Let me, let me finish Andy. I'll get back to you. Um, but yeah, you can support on the Patreon page. I'd love to have you guys there. It gives you access to the discord channel, uh, on the base, like just $1 discord which is pretty much a continuous live chat uh, uh if i'm not streaming essentially you guys can talk to each other there um without the live chat being there but uh yeah yeah anyways holy smokes um andy donated a dollar and then javier is like bro not without me so Javier donated a dollar. He's like, Andy set the bar. Javier comes in. Hey, here's another dollar, bro. What you got? What you got? Anyways, uh, Randy says, I, there's a lot of things. Okay, real quick, guys. I'll try to get, if you guys said anything after those uh, dollar comments, I'll get to it. Um, Javier says, nice to see you streaming frequently. Well, thank you. It's also nice to have you donating as well. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Very, very grateful. And uh, that dollar, you like, you could also support on Patreon with that dollar if you wanted to as well. How about the GS as an all-electric Tesla killer? David, great point. I said I would zip my mouth about the GS. Uh, it's a possibility. I'll just say that. It's a not a strong possibility, but a possibility nonetheless. Holy cow, guys, you are blowing up the chat today. Let me see if I can keep up. Um, pump, what? what, what? Uh, I will send a bottle of tequila to the Lexus dealership. That's a bad idea, bro. Bad idea. Um, that's something I could get fired for, you know? Actually, no. It's not. You know why? We get packages in the mail quite often. I've got a couple packages that were sent just to me uh, at the dealership. Um, if it's in a box and everything, like, there's nothing wrong with that. You, you guys could send me a bottle of tequila or, like, uh, 
a note saying, hey, your video suck. You could send that to the dealership and I would still get it. It wouldn't be filtered or anything. So then you will give me a great lease on a new RX. Um, yeah, probably. I'd probably do that. If the tequila was good, though, Javier. Oh, sorry, McLovin. Sorry, I'm going through McLovin. I apologize. I meant to say McLovin. I'm just going through so fast. Uh, Luis, Luis Thompson, Luis, how are you? That is the, your, your first name is the middle name of my goddaughter. Her name is Scarlett Luis. And that's uh, yeah, it's a beautiful name. My husband Winston told me that if he got a new GX that I would need to give him oral play. What is this young man? Hey, no comment. I saw somebody hop in uh, on one of my videos and say something like that. I didn't comment. I'm just like, I'm staying away from that. And then Luis is in here. Now, here's the thing. This could be the same. It could be Luis. It could be his, his wife. Or it could just be like a puppet account from the guy who posted that. Who knows? I don't know. You guys are playing with me. Holy cow. I'm trying to keep up. Do you have an image or idea on how the 2020 RX will look with normal headlights? We've only seen triple beams. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. We've only seen my beer's warm now. You guys keep blowing me away. I don't I don't know what the normal headlights are gonna be like in the 2020 RX. Um, I wish PBR would give me a sponsorship because I can't even drink the beer. I just talk with it in my hand because you guys keep like poking me. Hey, what do you think about this? That's fine. That's why you're here. I'm okay with that. Uh we don't know. It's probably going to be the similar, the same by LED headlights that we have in the current ones. It's just the little circular ones. So that's what the ES has. The RX will probably have the same ones. So, uh, like 99% sure. He said you have him the idea. I did not, Luis, I did not give him an idea for the oral thing you're talking about. That's preposterous. That's between you and him. I don't want I don't want to have anything to do with your intimate life. Andy Man 4, speaking of LC, I hear Lexus has a 5.6 liter motor that makes 550 horsepower that they were going to use for the LC 500 F Sport, not LCF motor. That is the most craziest thing I've heard today. If you have any sort of link you can show me that they're working on a 5.6 motor, Making 550 horsepower. I mean, they could, if they wanted to, they could do that. But I haven't heard that once before. Um, and they wouldn't, I mean, we've never seen an F Sport that has. So Andy donated a dollar, so I'll talk about this quite, quite a bit. We've never seen an F Sport that has a performance upgrade in horsepower. We've seen, and we have F Sports now that upgrade the suspension, okay? Um, especially with the adaptive variable suspension, but we've never seen an F-Sport with additional horsepower or a different motor or anything like that. Well, you're insinuating that it's both a horsepower upgrade, like a 70 or 80 horsepower upgrade and a different motor. Uh, and that says F-Sport, we're not talking about the LCF, so Hey, if they make it, great. I'm all for it. Uh, and that would blow the doors wide open for making F Sports a slight notch ahead in horsepower, uh, but not quite to the F model. Randy Savage. Randy, wait, 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 wait. Randy, if you're still in the chat, and I'm still trying to catch up to comments, you guys are blowing it up. Randy Savage. Randy the Macho Man. Savage died in a car accident. You better not be playing jokes. Randy, if that's actually you, if, if, if you are like Elvis and you you might be, or Tupac, you might be alive somewhere. Randy the Macho Man, Savage. Holy cow, he's in the chat. B-52 in the new IS, or sorry, the B-58. B-52 is a, a World War II bomber, right? Um, but the B-58 in the new IS... I wouldn't mind seeing it. Something a little spicy. I think it'd be cool. As long as it's reliable, as long as it's Toyota, Lexus reliable, psh, bring it on. Bring it on. 
Uh, again, Andy and Javier, thanks for the dollar donations, guys. Thank you so much. Michael Kim, do you think Lexus would make a dedicated three-row SUV like the Infiniti QX60, even though they have a uh, three-row? Yes, actually, they will. Um, the GX is getting a refresh for 2020. Um and that is slated to last another three to five years minimum, it's from at least from what I've heard. And they are working on something to replace that with a uh, all like a maybe something like a, a Lexus Sequoia or something that's more of a family hauler. And that's something where Lexus really really struggles with right now is to provide a a luxury family hauler vehicle that isn't $100,000 like the LX. Um, in other markets, they just brought out the um, LQ, which is the minivan based off of the High Ace, or what do they call it, the Hell Hellfire? I don't even know what they call it. Uh, I forget what they call the Toyota in different markets, but it's essentially a luxury minivan that would you know, fit that many people. So, But they're working on it. Deontay Curry, thank you so much. Donating a dollar ninety nine, dollar ninety nine. Oh man, that feels so good. Can we talk about the new four liter twin turbo V eight? Yes, we can. So Deontay just set the bar, guys. Andy came in with a dollar. Javier is like, bro, I got a dollar too. I'm not gonna one up you, but I'm gonna look you straight in the eyes. Deontay blows him away by ninety nine cents. He's like, dudes. Get out of here. Let's talk about the 4-liter twin-turbo V8. Let's talk about it. Let me take a drink. If this beer wasn't warm 20 minutes ago, it's boiling hot by now. So let me let me take a drink, and then we'll, we'll dive into the 4-liter twin-turbo. No confirmation on it. We have no confirmation on it. We also have no confirmation on the LCF official. Um, it's 99% sure happening. I can't say 100% sure because it's not have, hasn't been announced or it's not actually here yet. But the four liter twin turbo is going to be an iconic motor. It's gonna go down in Lexus and Toyota motoring history. It's going to be incredible. Um, this I'll I'll, uh, I'll relive. So this was probably last August or September. We were in a meeting at my dealership with the salespeople um, and the general manager. He and the GSM general sales manager. They had just got back from I think it's Plain, Plano, Texas, where they have this huge annual meeting with Akio Toyota, which Akio is like. He's, he is Toyota. Like, he is Toyota. <laughs> um, anyways, so uh, my GM, he was talking about how Akio was talking about this, this LCF, and they're working on it. And um, it had about 600 horsepower at the time, and it was a 4-liter twin-turbo V8. And Akio is a race car driver, if you guys didn't know. Uh, he still, I think he just took out one of the supercars that Toyota custom built for a certain racing league. I'm not into competitive racing that much. But anyways, he's always racing Toyota cars. He's loved, he loves racing. He's a great uh, pilot. I don't know. Race car driver is probably the right word for it. Anyway, so he's drive, he drove. he drove around probably the Fuji Raceway, which this, by the way, the F is modeled after Fuji Raceway. We can talk more about that later. So he drives a 600 horsepower twin turbo V8 and he comes, he comes in uh, to the pits after, after driving it. Um, and he says, this is not enough. It's not enough horsepower. 600 horsepower is not enough for the four liter. Now it doesn't mean that they're going to go to a whole new motor. He's he's saying, "Hey, you need more horsepower in this four-liter twin turbo." 
boost it, boost it to the sky. Uh, if the 2JZ 3-liter twin-turbo can make a 1,000 horsepower fairly reliably, there's no reason this 4-liter twin-turbo V8 can't make 700 horsepower. They can do it. They can totally do it. So anyways, that's that's all I got on the 4-liter twin-turbo. Yuan says... GX should be the new three-row SUV. I don't know. What you, maybe they, yeah, maybe they they rename that SUV a three, uh, the GX or something. If they're working on Mark, I would buy you a beer if it didn't take you over an hour to drink it, dude. It's only taken me over an hour because I'm not listening to anyone. I can read a comment in a matter of like a second, and then I'm talking for like a minute on that one comment so there's like little very little time for me to drink unless i force myself which i'm going to louise had it louise was taught she mentioned something and then she retracted that message i wonder what it said if you guys know what louise said let me know it's probably something very inappropriate I heard that the 4 liter twin turbo torque is less than the 2UR GSE motor. It's possible. I highly, 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 highly doubt it. Highly doubt it. I It's hard for me to believe. Is it possible? Yes. But I highly doubt that the torque is less. It's forced induced. Hold on, guys. Let me do a little search right now. 4.0 twin turbo. Uh, what uh, AMG doesn't, doesn't AMG make a four liter? Yes, they do. They make a four liter twin turbo. And guess what their torque is on it uh, after it loads? Let me let me let me find let me find. It has 650 newton meters of torque. 650 to foot pounds. Uh, gosh. That's 479 foot pounds of, of torque in the AMG motor. Now, if we go to the uh, LC500 torque, which has the 2UR GSE motor in it. That's 370 to 300, almost 400 foot pounds of torque. So it's going to have at least 80 foot pounds of torque, at least 80 foot pounds of torque more. So Mark, I hope I just didn't shatter your, your dreams right there, but I think I fairly disproved that the, uh, sorry, not Mark, Mark, my bad, uh, 3N. I think I just disproved your your comment there. Uh, oh my gosh, guys, holy cow, I'm so far behind in comments. Holy smokes. Um, 3N might help. Yep, 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 uh, LOL. Uh, Deontay Curry, is my super chat invisible or something? I don't know, dude. I can't see your computer, Deontay, but thanks again for donating the 199 like a baller. Thanks so much. Luis Thompson says he's effing with me, my friend. Yeah, dude, I, you're probably on some puppet account. I don't know. I don't know. You're, you're freaking hilarious. And then the guy right after you says wise guys. So you and wise guys are probably the same dude. Luis, I told you to get off YouTube, honey. Yeah, you're probably the same person. Can I send links in the chat? Uh, stand by. Oh, it's the LM equals the Alphard, not the LQ. Uh, LQ, we don't know what it's going to be yet. Maybe it's the LM. The LM, that's right. The LM stands for minivan. That's right. Or at least MPV or whatever you want to call it. Way tie. Will they do something with the 2 liter RC, NX, and IS? And it's also in the GS, but they're canceling that. And that, that, I should make a video on that, but uh, 
will they do some they should do something with the two liter turbo and the rc and the nx and the is they should boost it to at least 250 horsepower from the 235 i don't think that would be that hard to do Luis says stay lit no cap i don't know what that means kenny what's up bro haven't seen you in a while doesn't Lexus, why doesn't Lexus to RXF or L, why don't they do an L, why don't they do an RXF or an LSF? Great question. I think they could, especially, especially the LSF they could do. RXF, it's like, eh, eh, just come out with, you know, the limitless concept as a non-concept. But the LSF, they should have an LSF. Um, wise guys, Luis, did you pick up my stool soft? Yeah, you guys are full of jokes today. Why? I think wise guys and Luis is the same person. Uh, Michael Kidd, message retracted. I don't know what's going on. Yes, Winston, baby. I told you I would. I'll swing by CVS. Don't get you some. You guys are so inappropriate. Uh, you, you on no spy shot on the L E. I don't know what the L E is. Um, lunatic, lunatic coming in with another dollar. Coming with a dollar. Guys, like I said, for those who donated a dollar, you know what? You could have put that dollar in the Patreon and put your name in the running to win this, this speaker. I have no idea what this speaker is actually worth. I won this. My guess it would be a thirty or thirty to fifty dollar Bluetooth speaker. It's super heavy for what it is. Super high quality. Um, this bottom is like this nice felt rubber ish material. Uh, but yeah, you guys could have donated a dollar on the Patreon page and entered yourself into winning a forty dollar speaker. Oh gosh, lunatic, lunatic. Okay, so lunatic do donate dollar. I have to respond to his comment. PBR has a hard coffee. I want to try it. I didn't know if that was a thing. All I know is PBR. This is it. This is all I know is PBR. It's just one beer. Don't mess around. They don't play games. They come out with this PBR that they've been making for millennia. Unchanged. And apparently they have a coffee stout now. That's pretty cool. I'll have to try it. I like coffee. Now, coffee stouts, lunatic, I can only drink like one. And then I can't drink, like I'm just done. I can't drink anymore. They're, they're really, my stomach is just like, I'm done. I'm out. I can't do anymore. Michael Kim, sorry, Kenny and Yuan. Oh, sorry for what? Uh, why is it, did they, they did an LS, uh, LS with the F4 package yet? Yeah. F Sport package, big whoop, big whoop. So you get bigger brakes in that car. You get uh, a different wheel, different interior. That's it. That's it. It's cool. It looks great. Looks cool. That's it. Andy messaged you the link on the 5.6 liter on Messenger. Cool, man. Thank you. Hopefully I find it. Uh, Three and I wish Lexus changed Mark Levinson Soundmaster and upcoming Lexus cars because we own four Lexus and all Soundmaster are broken, so we changed it to custom Soundmaster. Oh, I think I know what you. I think I know what you mean. Three N. It's hard for me to follow you. I think I know what you mean. I mean, yeah, you customize it to how you like it. I mean, they can't, it's not like a one size fits all. Kenny, oh yeah, I forgot about the limitless concept. Yeah, yeah, man, don't forget about it. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. Michael Kim says Lexus enthusiast. Oh, L-E, oh, that's what Lexus enthusiast mean? No spy shot on, on Lexus. Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you guys. I got you. You don't have to. You don't have to spam it three, four different times. I'm sticking with. I got an LS430 right now. LS460 next. Don't get rid of your LS430. Hang on to it. They're great cars. LS460 is great as well. I would probably stay clear of the 0708. I think they have some. 
suspension issues or something like that. Uh, shoot, when I drop my LS4, I feel better than anyone on the road. Only difference is I use my turn signals and lights. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's a running joke where Mercedes and BMW owners don't use their turn signals. So, uh, because I told Kennedy that LSF is coming and mention about there being a spy shot. So, well, I don't know if there's an actual spy shot on Lexus Enthusiast unless something came up in the last hour because I checked that site multiple times a day and there's not. So there are renderings on Lexus Enthusiast about uh, the LSF or the LCF, I should say. There, there have been multiple renderings, just like the new IS. There are multiple renderings on the IS, but we don't have an idea of exactly what it's gonna look like, so. Waitai, but have you heard that they're going to do something because the TQ is even lower than the V6? TQ, is that like an engine code? I'm not familiar with TQ, I'll be honest. Plan on keeping it until 350,000 miles. Just change out the suspension, make sure. Uh, I have seen some LS430s where the interior didn't look so hot, so make sure to use seat covers, that sort of thing. The torque is not lower than the V6. Where are you getting your info? Oh, because TQ is torque. Why Kirk knows it all, I don't know it all. That is for sure, I know some things. Do you think they're gonna be a track edition of the LCF and next ISF? It'd be cool. Um, it'd be really cool, to be honest. I think that'd be awesome. I haven't really given that much thought. Uh, but the fact that they came out with a track edition of the RCF opens a possibility of a track edition. Now, the track edition on the RCF is pretty underwhelming, to be honest. They put that big spoiler on there. They have a different exhaust system. They have carbon ceramic brakes. Those are all very easy things to do to the car to upgrade it. Um, it would have been nice to see a horsepower increase. Um, um, you know, a much you know them taking out the back seats or something to to reduce weight in the car. To be honest, because no one's ever gonna sit in the back seat. I mean, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Deontay, uh, I have a 2000 RX 300. And an 03 ES300, both at 130,000. I plan to get an SC400 and keep them forever. Keep them forever. Do it, man. They're great cars. Engine transmission, usually don't go out on them. Um, make sure to change the timing belts. Uh, what else? Uh, just make sure the suspension is up to date. Keep those tires balanced. I mean, there's not much you got to do to it. One, well, LCF might just be a track edition by itself. Yeah, but they wouldn't call it the track edition. They just call it the LCF, but it might, it's probably gonna have carbon ceramic brakes. Right, like, I know, what you're, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, Juan. LCF won't have the back seats, according to someone on Lexus Enthusiast. Cool. <laughs> That would be awesome. They need to shave weight. Um, they need to shave weight. If they want a track edition of any vehicle, they need to shave weight. Lexus are very heavy. Uh, and typically, they're heavy because of safety reasons and quiet reasons and smoothness and just <laughs> encapsulated in this luxurious cell. That's why they're so... Um, uh, I mean, that's why they have seats and that's why they're heavy. I don't know if that makes sense. This beer is so warm. I don't know how I'm s s haven't drank it all. Heard the 2020 RX and have shock issues because my parents had to replace. Oh, the 2010 RX, not the 2020. Hey, I don't know. That would be more of a service question, Michael. 
Um, in terms of reliability and things like that, I know some things, but usually that's a service question, meaning you'd have to ask those questions who's a specialist in the service department or even a mechanic, a technician of some sort. Deontay Curry, can we get an RCF with a three and a half twin turbo in the LS? Yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be cool. I like to see it. What? Let's see here. Guys, I just want to thank you for stopping out to the to the live live stream today. I'll probably stop streaming maybe in ten minutes, next ten minutes or so. Unless you guys keep pouring it on, then I, I'm obligated. And then at that, sometimes I I have to you know get another drink at that point, and then it trails on for another thirty or forty minutes. If you guys want me, if you guys want me to go that much longer donate a dollar or something i'll probably do it for a dollar i'm a sucker it's not that the money gets me excited it's just the idea that you know so you know, i don't know you guys know what I'm, you know what i'm saying it's like it's like winning a prize like the, a cheap little chinese toy at a carnival that's what it is to me so like, oh i won a prize i'm on a hot streak let's just keep going sort of thing i don't know if i'm making any sense guys yep yep yeah thanks again Thanks again. There's about 15 of you in the chat, so thanks so much. And at one point, I think the most I had, 26 people. Now, the funny thing is, is that I, I have been trying to stream playing video games to you guys. I can't even see the, the chat right now. I have been trying to stream playing video games like Forza and like you guys are like, oh, you know, drive the... the uh, you know, ISF or drive the L LFA and I'll do that and it's fun, but like I've never had 26 people in a live stream. So that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, and the fact that I have over 10 right now is, is above average. So thanks guys. Um, three and I heard there was going to be LQF it's based on LF one twin turbo. Yep. Um, three N I've heard the same thing. I've heard the same thing that the LQ, so the limit, the LF1 limit list is 100,000% sure going to be a production car. It's going to happen. Propulsion is another question. I have heard that the four liter V8 twin turbo is going to be an option. I don't know if it's standard or not. Um, my guess here, and this, I can make a video on this. Standard, standard would be a, the, the LS motor, the three and a half liter twin turbo, 416 horsepower. Uh, and then you would have another grade above that, which would be the four liter twin turbo with 700 horsepower, whatever it's going to be. And then a side grade to that would be the fully electric uh, LF1 or LQ, whatever they decide to name it. It's possible. It's possible fully electric Tesla uh, competitor. Now, it would probably cost more than a Tesla. I would just say that. Uh, Model X P100D is like 130,000 or something like that. I could see the Lexus being 150,000, um, which besides the LFA would be the most expensive Lexus ever. Next C63 supposedly have 550 plus horsepower in a C class. In a C class, that's stupid. Why high quality routine maintenance basics? Crazy how people can pride in their German cars. Yeah, the best way to pr to pride yourself on a German car is to lease it. They're fast. They look awesome. They have lots of technology. Their interiors are very like, ooh, look at this. It's ambient lighting, changes colors. And while well, it's all cool, uh, it's a nightmare owning outside of warranty. Um, so yeah, I'll just say that. I saw your videos on the IS, which I'm excited for. Thanks, Jonathan. Thanks, thanks Jonathan, for, for coming in tonight, watching the stream. Excited to have you here. 
Yeah, the IS is going to be great. I love the S classes and the 7 series, but they they're pieces of crap regarding reliability and the stuff going wrong. Yeah. Yeah, they're cool cars. I'd love to have one. As long as it's free and I don't have to pay for any repairs or maintenance on it. Lunatic says, don't forget to tap that thumbs up. I think I got 12 likes on it. That's pretty neat. I'll take 12 likes. Amen. 12 likes. Can you do an... Uh, can I do a Anthor? Oh, another. Can I do another video on the LF1? Yeah, I probably should. Cool Cat. Cool Cat is still in the chat. Cool Cat started. He was the first person to comment on the chat. Gosh, what time was that? I don't even know. It was a long time ago. I'll just say that. He was the first person to comment on the chat tonight. He's still on the channel. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. Holy cow. It's going to be hard for me to leave the stream. I said I would leave it in about 10 minutes. That's I got about five minutes left or something. I'm still on the same warm beer. PBR warm. It's not the best tasting thing. It's not the worst. It's not the best. Luis, subscribe to you. Wise Guys has these multiple puppet accounts. He's just subscribing. Pa, 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 pa to my channel. Let me let me pull up. Let's see here if it updated. Fifty four ninety subscribers. Fifty four ninety, so five thousand four hundred ninety. Now Luis might have been the five thousand four hundred ninetieth subscriber. By the way, you never know. You never know. Without your channel, I'll never know about LCF. Well. I guess thank you. I guess uh, I brought some information and excitement into your life. Uh, cool cat still hanging. Anything about the new GX? It says Saima Riaz. Saima, well, thank you for, for coming tonight. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for being here. Uh, anything about the new GX? Do you mean the 2020 GX? Um. I can talk a lot about the 2020 GX. I've made videos on it already. Feel free to watch them. But if you have specific information on the 20 GX or maybe a different GX in the future, just let me, maybe be more specific so I can help you out, Saima. Dragon, do you know how the new Volvos compare reliability to Lexus, like the Volvo XC90? Hold that thought. I'm going to try to finish this beer. I think, I'm, I, think I can run a commercial. Hold that thought. I'll talk about Volvo in a little bit. Um, I'm going to insert an ad. All right. All right. I'll be back in just a little, guys. Um, new Volvos aren't Swedish anymore. Yeah, we'll talk about that. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I don't, I don't think I'm going to crack open another PBR unless someone donates a ridiculous amount of money that I'll be forced to and then I'll have to talk more. But uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom and I'll be back uh, following up with some of that Volvo stuff.
All right, guys. Hey, holy smokes, guys. Holy smokes. Thank you for staying after my bathroom break. Holy cow. What's wrong with you? Don't you guys have better things to do? Don't you guys have better things to do than to watch me on a Sunday? Well, I mean, Sunday night, there's probably not a whole lot to do. Rafa's back? Dude, what's wrong with you? <clears throat> okay. If you guys weren't here earlier, uh, Rafa's from Poland. And when I was talking to him earlier, this is an hour ago. So talking to him earlier is 2 a.m. Now it's 3 a.m. in Poland. Rafa, dude, I hope you're not losing sleep because you were hoping to be in the live stream, the chat. I hope not. Anyways, there's a lot of a lot of things I got to um the Volvos. Yeah, Volvos, Volvos, Volvos. Volvos are made in China now. Um the reliability is not good. Um I'd say it's mediocre. And I still eat with that being said, I still have a sp soft spot for Volvos. I have driven their 2 liter turbo and supercharged motor. I think it's incredible. Um, I, I think it's a great motor. I've driven it several times. I'm just like, how's this possible? So much power in such a small motor. Um, I've driven, well, I've driven an XC60, I've driven an XC90, I've driven an XC40. Uh, I think Volvo's interiors do a really, really good job. Um, and I often say that Volvo's interiors, <clears throat> at least of the cars I've been in, and for the price point, their interiors are equivalent in terms of fit and finish and materials to Lexus. They're not as comfortable as a Lexus. Their materials uh, over time may or may not hold up as well as a Lexus on the interior. I don't know. But at least on a newer Volvo, I really like their design on their interiors as well as the, the materials. I think they're awesome. So there you go. That's what I think about Volvos. I like them a lot. I don't think I would ever own one. Maybe I'd lease one. So I put I would put Volvo in the I guess the German. Well, I know they're they're Swedish, right? Well, they're tech, they're Chinese now. They are made in China. I would kind of lump them in the same category of European cars. Fascinating, cool cars, and. They're the best interior European car that I've driven and, and been in. So there you go. 3N, I'm, a, I'm your huge fan. That's why I'm here. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Sorn. 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 What do you think of the dealer markup of the Supra? I've heard some ridiculous things. So let me go to, I think I saw something on, on Jalopnik. They're talking about the Supra markup on there. Yeah, here's a 2020 Supra marked up to nearly $200,000. What, what, what? What? That doesn't make any sense. What do I think about it? I think it's stupid. I think it's just these these petty Toyota dealerships being like, hey, we got something cool for once, and we're going to blow up social media and all the, all the internet. We're going to destroy the internet by posting our, our one and only Supra at $200,000. And you know what? We'll probably end up selling it for 70. But you know how many people heard of our dealership? You know, all I have to do is look at this article. Toyota Kia Avero Beach, Florida. You know, they think it's going to be beneficial to them to draw people to them. You know what it's going to do? It's going to be like, oh, Toyota Kia Avero Beach, they're a bunch of lying idiots. Uh, we're not going to go there because they overpriced their vehicles. 
It instantly backfires on them. That's what I think about it. And I had zero opinion on it before. There's my opinion. There you go. Oh, goodness. Luis, you need to stop it. Jay Garcia, what's going on? Is SC430 reliable as a weekend cruiser car? It's a Lexus. It's got the, the what is it, the 3 UZFE motor in it? I think that's what it is, the 3 UZFE V8. The Jay Garcia, yes, the SC430 is bulletproof, 100% bulletproof. 3N says new Supra is a total flop. Ouch. He doesn't, he doesn't even say flop. He says floop. New Supra is a total floop. Holy cow, that's that's a that's a low jab right there. 200000 dollars Supra. That is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Holy cow, guys. There's still 16 of you in here. It's hard for me to leave the stream, the chat, when you guys are in full force. Uh, but I have been streaming for quite a while. Um, and I feel somewhat obligated if Rafa is still in here. If Rafa is still in the stream feel a little bit obligated. Actually, at the same time, I don't because if I stop streaming, he will have to go to bed. Have you seen the boys on Amazon Prime? I've heard about it. I haven't I haven't seen it. I do have Amazon Prime. Let me let me see the boys. Let me let me look it up real quick. The boys. Oh, I spelled it with a Z and Boys in the Hood came up. Great movie, by the way. The Boys, yeah, I've seen this advertised. No, I haven't, what is it, what's it about? What is it about? Oh, guys, goodness gracious, there's 12 of you. I got down to 12 viewers and now there's 17 in here. What am I, how am I supposed to leave you guys? Holy smokes. Can't waste change talk. Oh, I can't waste a chance talking. Dude, I'm not that important. I'm just a dude. Just a person just like you are. Nothing special about me. Luis, if you end your stream, I will watch all your videos to keep hearing your voice. Goodness, Luis, get a life. Get a life. I know you're joking. You're hilarious in, in some strange way. Um, what time is it? What, what time is it? It's eight o'clock. Okay. I'll get one more beer. If I get, if I drink this beer, I expect you guys to continue, continue watching. If you want me to like freaking go ham on a specific question, just donate, donate a dollar or something. And I will go ham on a specific question that you want to know more about. Um, and you'll get to hear me rant. I love ranting. I don't do it much in my videos. I try to make my videos a little bit more professional. But live stream is a different ball game. Uh, yeah, Winston's a butt. Winston's a butt crack. So, Luis, you need you you can do better. Pull yourself out of the slums. Rafa, Rafa's still here. It's over. It's it's three fifteen in the morning and. Freaking Krakow, Poland. I don't know where you're at in Poland. I don't know. I knew, I've known a couple Polish. Uh, actually, here, fun fact, Rafa. Uh, I've known probably three Polish people in my life, maybe more, but three that I can think of. Katarzyna was one of them. I believe that's her name, Katarzyna. Um, uh, 
the priest who married my wife and I, well, technically my wife and I married each other, but the priest kind of, you know, anyways, the priest who was at our wedding, who said mass at our wedding, uh, from Poland, um, even though he acts more French than Polish, but that's okay. Um, and then I knew a Polish lady, her name was Agnes, a very sweet, sweet lady. So those are the Poles, pe Polish people I know personally on a personal level. Watch a preview, not for kids. What? What? Pretend I got disconnected. Okay, good idea. Oh, oh God. guys, I got disconnected. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm going to go get a snack and a drink real quick. Oh, gosh. Rafa, you're out of control. Vodka, but the thing is, vodka vodka to a Polish man or woman uh, is like water. It doesn't, it's like, it's like, it doesn't do anything. You're given probably vodka as a infant, so you're immune to it. it doesn't do you any good. Official, official elite. What's good, homie? How you doing, man? Thanks for joining the stream. I'm just I'm just acting a fool here, talking Lexus. What's the best Lexus for the money? Es, duh, es. Did I say es? The es is the best Lexus for the money. There you go. Goodness, guys, you won't leave me alone. I had to. I had to get another drink. You will not leave me. Official elite subbed. Thank you, sir. Uh, you are a very funny, Mister. Thank you. Try to be. Try to be entertaining. If I wasn't entertaining, now funny is different, right? Entertaining. Entertaining is one thing. Funny is another ball game altogether. But if you're entertaining while being funny, that's the best recipe for the best. The best success, the best future. You got you got to have a little sense of humor. Luis, yeah. Luis plus one for me. Yep. Luis. Lexus needs to make an ESF. While it would be cool... It's probably one of the least likely vehicles in the Lexus lineup to get an F model. Now, I have stated my opinion on the channel before in some of my videos and how I think Lexus should have an F model of all of their vehicles, but hey, I don't call the shots for Lexus. Oh man, you know what I gotta do? It's getting a little dark in here. I gotta I gotta pump up my, my camera here. That's the thing, this this bargain webcam, there you go. Bargain webcam, good quality, not bad quality at all. It does a crap job at adjusting the light. Um, so there you go. I have to do it almost manually. I opened my beard and haven't, take one haven't taken one sip from it. So that's probably a new new record for me. And I still haven't done it. Uh, that would be crazy. Front wheel drive ES. Now, yeah, ugh. you know, <clears throat> I don't. I don't even know. There's no. Way, there's never going to be an ESF. At least not this generation. So, Civic Killer. Yeah, Lexus should have an F model for all of its vehicles. Sorn, where are you from? I don't even know if I'm saying it. Sorn, where are you from? That is a very unique name. It sounds Scandinavian. Could be wrong, but. What? 
Poland, you saw three LFAs. On Polish license plates, Krakow, Poznan, and Gdansk. I've heard of Gdansk. Uh, I've heard of Krakow, Poznan, and maybe Poznan, Poznan, Poznan. I have no idea how you say P-O-Z-N-A-N with a accent on the end. I have no idea. Is ISF going to replace GSF or LSF? Well, if the GSF isn't around, in, or the GS isn't around anymore, then the IS would replace it, right? Uh, LSF, there's no such thing as an LSF yet. Venus, Venus, what's going on? Venus, Venus. Venus, Venus. That is a very peculiar name to have. Um, I don't know what to say about it. That would be like Mars, Mars, or Mercury, Mercury. It's kind of kind of strange. Are you an alien, Venus, Venus? Are you from a different planet? The S4 seats are uncomfortable. Do they get better as time passes? Um, depends on the person. The S4 seats are uncomfortable. It depends on the person. Uh, if you're a slender person, the F sport seats might be comfortable. If you're a, a normal to wide or extra wide person, they're going to be uncomfortable. They're very, very sporty. They hold you in. They, they freaking come right up the sides of you, especially on the NX. So will they get more comfortable over time? Yes. Any seat will conform to you over time. Even a, even a wood seat will conform to you over time. Um, leather will just do it much quicker and leather is the material you will have excuse me in a Lexus however in many Lexus like the F Sports I believe it's new Lex which is a thin a synthetic material and it still will conform to you much better than something like wood so I don't know if I'm making any sense I hope I'm making some sense um, but if it's not comfortable for you now don't get it maybe go with the non f sport version or at least consider it if you're okay with a little bit of uncomfortability but you get the f sport upgrades like the exterior the wheels the interior that sort of thing if that's more important to you than comfortability then go for it it's really dependent on you venus venus soren is in ohio and i'm saying the name correct now, Soren, is that your first name? That is, I've never heard that name before. I have an uncle whose last name is Sorum. Sorum, but not Sorn. It's very, it's very unique. Luis, in Japan, there's an LS430 I saw with a supercharger on it. I think it gave it 80 plus horsepower, and I don't know, torque, but it would be great, I bet. Yeah, it'd be awesome. Uh, Venus. We're not getting into alternative lifestyles today. Yeah, yep. Goodness. Did I catch... I caught up to the comments again. Uh, there's something wrong with that. If I catch up to the comments, that's a big ordeal. Um, it makes me want to quit the stream. Once makes me want to leave the stream and do other things because I still have about maybe an hour, hour and a half of my night left that I could do things that I would like doing. Now, I love I love streaming. I still like it. Don't get me wrong. But those are the things I, I could be doing, right? And so if, if there's still 14 people in here, it's still hard for me to leave. Are you sure you guys don't have any other other things to do? Or if you don't, comment away so I can provide for you some sort of value some sort of entertainment um and like i said if you want if you want me to rant on something feel free feel free to uh match gosh where's he at let, let me look lunatic put a dollar but deontay deontay raise the bar to another level and donate a dollar 99 man 
Thanks. Thanks, all all of you who supported tonight, whether you donated or not. Thanks for again, guys, just for coming here, for being here, talking. It's uh it's crazy that people like listening to me talk. It's weird. It's bizarre. The internet is a funny thing. My wife and I were talking about that last night. We're like, the internet is just weird. No one really knows how it works unless you're like you go to school for it. But no one no one really has any idea how the internet works it just does and we're very grateful for that lunatic goodness gracious i hope you're not your i hope you're not putting yourself out of work by donating like two dollars to the stream tonight that could have been your third dollar let me double check there's two dollars no yeah two dollars to the stream goodness i hope you're able to pay uh, your gas bill uh your car insurance your grocery bill, your life insurance, your health insurance. Please don't put yourself out. Uh, you know, thanks, man. That's all I got to say is thanks. He is, he is the leading donator tonight by one cent. One cent. Thank you so much. He, he's, take, he's risen the bar to $2. Previously unheard of. Thank you so much, Lunatic. Lunatic, if you got anything to say, I feel like I got, I gotta, I gotta answer a question or something. You got, the, he's donated two of his dollars. You know, Lunatic could only, I don't know what he does for a living. He's probably told me three times already. But if he is, you know, let's say he makes a minimum wage, let's say, or close to it, let's say he's making eight dollars an hour. He just worked ten or twenty minutes of his time to give me two bucks. That's that's a humbling, humbling, humbling thing for me. It's like, I don't even want to accept it, if, you know, if that's the case. But, lunatic, okay. PBR coffee. That's all he wants to tell me is that there's a Paps Blue Ribbon coffee. And that's it. He's just peacing out. I gotta look it up. Alright. Gotta look it up. Let's look it up, guys. PBR coffee. And I'll look it up with you because this is what this is what he wants to see. Well, this happened two days ago. Is this hot off the press? Two days ago. What is good? Let me zoom in for you guys. Ooh, that looks delicious. Ooh, that almost looks like a white Russian or something. We tried PBR hard coffee, the boozy caffeinated bet. Beverage is currently available in five states. That's it. Holy smokes. I'm going to have to read this off the stream. The first sip was also reminiscent of Bailey's as well as Kahlua. So you're telling me it tastes like a white Russian, which is one of my favorite drinks ever. Goodness gracious. Okay, okay, okay. Maine, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Florida, and Georgia. I don't live in Florida anymore. Oh, no. 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 I don't live in Florida anymore. How am I supposed to drink this? Unless you want to, if you want to ship it to me or something. Gosh. Don't know what to tell you. Mm, Javier has a good question. Uh, 3N says, I'm jobless and have a lot of time. Well, thank you for spending your jobless time with me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Tomo uh, regato. I feel like I, I got a lot of comments to make up on now. Venus really wants the red seats. Just get the red seats then. Get the red seats. Louise says, make sure to eat a good meal. I will, thank you. Well, I had a, a good meal earlier, but I, I kind of want to snack some more. Rafa, you must get a ride in LFA. It's fun. As F, I ride my Audi RS6 Avant 2010, and it's no compared. Well, yeah, I mean, you're comparing a a supercar to a luxury 
high performance Avant is like a wagon, right? So yeah, there's no comparison, especially yeah, you take them around on the Nurburgring. The LFA is going to win by a freaking country mile. Meals on Wheels. I do accept Meals on Wheels as a donation. Which SUV is better, NX or X? Uh, which one costs more? So the, the RX is a better SUV, but you have to decide if it's the right SUV for you in terms of size and features, or if the NX is, is the right vehicle for you based off of size and features, and it comes in about, I don't know, eight to 10 grand cheaper, so. Venus, Alex, it's bulletproof, BB, yep, 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 yep. The, the 2UZ motor, the 4.7 liter V8, is one of the best motors ever made. Uh, PBR Coffee Lunatic. Can't believe you did that to me. Why Lexus change LS and XLX into V6? Um, EPA requirements, that's why. Countries around the world require motors to have a certain amount of miles per gallon and emission standards and a Vista turbo V6 does that better than a V8. Um, and the V8's usually, usually heavier, not always, but it gives you an idea. Uh, LX, we don't know if the LX is not going to have a V8. We have, we don't know for sure. It's a possibility. It's a strong possibility. They might, they may scrap the V8, but we don't know. Javier, did you start work? How, how did I start working at Lexus? Good question. Uh, I'm not going to get into it too much, but a, I saw a, um, job opening on Indeed, which most of you know about Indeed.com. It's just a, uh, I guess a job search and I applied. Um, I got an interview pretty quickly and I got hired the day of my interview. So, um, there you go. That's how I started working at Lexus. Rafa says, be right back. All right. He's probably taking another shot of vodka. Lunatic. Wait, 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 wait. Lunatic is Lunatic still here? I thought you said PBR coffee. Bye bye. I thought you left. I was going to, but the coffee, but gave you the $2 and oh, you're going to give me the coffee, but you gave me $2, which I can't use to buy the coffee because it's not available here in Nebraska. That's some serious warfare right there. That's like psychological warfare. PBR. It's not particularly good, but it is American. Any news on the first all electric Lexus? No, I don't. Um, we, we will get a ton of news on it at the Tokyo Motor Show, possibly before then. It's possible we might get a little information on it before then, but, you know, that is the future of Lexus, at least in the next five years, is electrification, and it can't come soon enough. The brand, not just Lexus, but the entire automotive industry is going to be rapidly changing in the next five years. It's going to be so much different um, five years from now than it is now. Um, and I'm excited for it. I think we're in a huge turning point of the automotive industry, shifting from, fa uh, can't say fossil fuels, because essentially most electric vehicles are still powered by fossil fuels, ultimately with coal, at least here in the United States. There are some nuclear plants which I think nuclear is a should be the primary focus on, on being able to make clean nuclear energy and be able to um, do that safely. I think that is the best way to um, have a good power source. I mean, renewable energy is great. 
uh, but nuclear is very, very, very uh, awesome. Just tons, tons of power can be derived from nuclear energy. So, uh, just you know, does has a couple, couple downsides if if things aren't done right. Um, but yeah, do I play Clash of Clans? Rubber Band Man. No, Rubber Band Man. I got, I got a question for you. Do you know Do you know who the rapper Ti? Do you know who the rapper Ti is? Um, and no, I do not play Clash of Clans. I there are some coworkers of mine that do, or something similar to. I don't play it. Um, man, I caught up. I caught up on the comments again. I still have over ten people in the stream. I don't know. I've been streaming for over two hours. Are you guys kidding me? I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a guy. Throw an ad at you or something. Two hours of streaming. V6s are in demand because there are many tree rigger, tree riggers who need a good fuel economy. Okay, rubber band man says he doesn't know who I don't know who TI is. Well TI is a rapper from Atlanta. He's a rapper, R and B artist. And he had a video or he had a song, a hit song, one of his first songs was called Rubber Band Man. So I thought maybe it was a play on that. Uh in middle school, that probably came out in middle school or high school for me. Like that was a long time ago. Uh huh. This is a great song. I'm not gonna try rapping it. By the way, not going to try rapping it. Any news about LS Plus? Uh, nope. I don't have any news on that. Rafa's back. I hope you didn't take too many shots of vodka. Ti's the man. Ti is the man. He's just got a few legal issues. He's been locked up a couple of times, but uh, man, in the in the mid two thousand, mid and early two thousands, Ti was the king of rap. Like him and Fifty Cent, kings of rap, right there. Early to mid two thousands. I don't follow rap much anymore. I don't do it. Big Small loves the LSs. Yeah, of course he does. No, I used to make a bunch of videos of me breaking rubber bands in my backyard. Cool, man. That's pretty cool. Rafa is 10 shots deep and he's not drunk yet. I would say you, you probably have a drinking problem, my friend. Probably have a drinking problem. That's crazy. Holy smokes. 10, 10 shots deep and not drunk. Got issues, dude. Should lay off lay off for a week or two. Tupac is the best. It's hard to, it's hard to argue that one. All right, guys. I'm slowing down. I'm slowing down. Sun's going down. I'm slowing down. Excuse me. Bet that second one is going down easier than the first. Um, well, the first wasn't my first. Uh, the first was probably like my third or fourth. Um, so, yeah. Gives you an idea. But the, but the first one on the stream definitely took me forever to drink and it got warm and it wasn't particularly good tasting. Um, this is still cold, even though I probably opened it like 20 minutes ago. I still have 10 viewers. I don't know what's wrong with you guys. I have no idea what's wrong with you. Why would you watch me for this long? I'm not even playing video games. And that's that's a part of my, my stream. It says, hey, I'm playing Forza Horizon. Come watch me. And I started. 
I think I did one race. I don't even know if I finished that race, to be honest. I don't think I did. Yep. Rafa, in U.S., you got this problem with teenagers that smoke cigarettes, drinking alcohol, and playing loud music at public places? We do? I mean, teenagers are the same everywhere. They all... Sm- not all of them. I never smoked. And I actually didn't smoke or drink when I was 13 to 16. Most American kids experiment in those ages, so we'll say that. Um, I did play loud music, not in public places, typically in private places or in my car. Kirk already in stealth mode. I see. I see what you're saying. Most people probably won't get that, but yeah. I see what you're saying. Gosh. I'm going to I'm going to pull this up for you guys. I would love to have one of these model diecast LCs. I drool over these things. I also drool over the LFA diecast, which by the way, I bought one on Amazon for really cheap but it's never been shipped so I don't know if it was like a false listing and I I don't know we'll see I'll keep you guys updated if I get the LFA uh, model car I'll definitely post it I'll post a video on it do a review on it probably put it somewhere in the background um, so you guys can see it but yep Yep, 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 yep. I would love to have an LFA or an LC model car. What? Uh, guys, I'm trying to wind down the stream. I got down to like nine people and now there's 13 people watching. Don't you guys have something, have anything else to do? DB, I don't, DB, what's, well, thank you for watching. Welcome to the stream. Need to put my, uh, uh, Austin Cambridge to cool out and get LC to drive out need an upgrade Austin Cambridge I don't you mean like an Aston Martin I don't know what you mean by that getting LC to drive out I don't know what that means Rafa I'm surprised because usually after six shots I'm a bit drunk yeah a normal person would be pretty hammered after six shots. I'm straight sober. Well, maybe you need to stop watching my stream. Maybe my stream sobers you up. Maybe the, the Lexus mentality sobers you up or something. Or maybe you should be drinking sake or uh, that Japanese whiskey that's behind me in this bottle right back there. Actually, it's a Japanese um, gin. It's not whiskey. It's gin which was absolutely delicious. I miss your old intro because of the LFA sound. Yeah, I, you know, hold on a sec. Did I, I wonder if I got rid of it. I might still have it. I I put a lot of time into it. Uh, I might still have that old intro. 120, I made it in January 26th. And I could st- I can still use this intro. I would have to change my name back to Lug- Luxurious Kirk. I don't know if I, s- I don't think I still have the template to it, but I could always recreate it. It took me a while to make this. Uh, here you go. Let's do this. This is my one of my wasn't my original intro, but this is one that I. Okay, hold on, hold on. That's not loud enough. That's it. <laughs> Super short to the point. I love that intro. I think a lot of people did. Whew. Yep, 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 yep. I don't know. I Hopefully I could find that 
audio clip again for the LFA because that was incredible. Uh, let me go back to webcam. There we go. There you go. Is Luxurious Kirk my stage name? It was. It was my stage name. And then I did I did some personal videos for a while. I took a break from car videos and I went to just my my full name, my full legal name, I guess. Um, and then I went back to making car videos again and I kept my normal name. Ended up buying a Model 3 over Lexus IS 350, says Qubit. Uh, Qubit, well, congratulations on your new car. I hope your Model 3 takes care of you for a long, long time. You have no issues with it. Uh, they're beautiful cars. We had one drive up to the dealership on Saturday. Um, they weren't trading it in or anything. They were uh, looking uh, for his wife, uh, possibly an RX for his wife. Uh, but yeah, I just... I highly admire Teslas. Uh, I think you're a fool if you don't admire them and respect them. Uh, they are incredible vehicles. Um, and you have to admire Elon Musk for his vision and his passion and his drive to make his dream happen. So nothing but nothing but respect for Tesla, to be honest. Um, so congratulations on your Model 3. Over an IS, they are priced fairly similar. So, yep, that's all I got to say is congratulations. Uh, Rafa says, chill, I'm cl closing bottle right now. He's, wait, closing or emptying? Like, are you finishing the bottle off? Are you drinking everything in there? The best drink I have was Jägerbomb, Jägermeister, and with Red Bull. Are you saying it's the best drink you've ever had or it's the best drink you have in your house? Uh, I haven't had a um, Jaeger bomb in probably 12 or 11 years. Um, and I still can taste it in my mouth. And the reason why is I drip, me and my buddies, we had Jaeger bomb night. None of us will ever forget that night. I'll just say that. Things get real crazy when you take Jaeger bombs. Uh, best way up, yep, yep, yep. Lunatic, is that yep? Uh, Jonathan Revis, love the LFA sound music. Yep, it is music. Can't wait to see you review the new Lexus models. Yeah, Lunatic. I, I hope I'm able to. I'm trying to do, trying to do some more reviews at my dealership. Um, I'm doing what I can. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, it's, it's my passion. I love doing that. Um, and a, I hope to also help out the dealership by making videos. Um, but we'll see. I can't, I can't say whether I will be able to or not. I just hope I want to. I want to more than anything to be able to make uh, reviews on Lexus vehicles again. I think it would be amazing it would just make me so happy it would bring, it would bring a lot of information and knowledge and and um, excitement to you guys the channel so um, and i think it, it could also bring business to the dealership if done right so i hope i'm able to do it rafa i wish i can race that model 3 with my 854 horsepower audi rs6 um, the model three would probably have you up to like 40 to 60 miles per hour. Depends if it's a performance model or not. And then your car would just smoke it after that. Um, and doing digs, the model three would have you for a little bit. So if you're going at like, you're both going at 40 or 50 miles an hour and you both slam the accelerator model three has no hesitation. Your car will have to downshift uh, and then take off. Unless you have it in the optimal gear already, then that's a different story. But that's not real, real, world, real, real world driving necessarily. Which, I mean, yeah, quarter, quarter mile, 
the Audi would would beat it quite handily, but um, like zero to forty to sixty, I think the Model Three performance would would put up a good fight. Unless there's something I don't know. Uh, Jaeger bombs is how I had relations. Yeah, yeah, I totally believe that, wise guys. What are you still doing here? He's still, he's still in the chat. That's crazy. Guys, back, I was up to 16 viewers, back to 12. You guys should have something else to do on a Sunday night. He's closing the cap. He's had probably 10 plus shots, and he's like, ah, I'm just going to stop drinking. I'm not feeling anything. Spoken like a true Polish man with uh, vodka. DB Jagerbomb will mess you up. Last week, the bar, I went and served me Guinness and peanut punch with Irish moss. Good stuff. I Guinness is great. Don't know what peanut, peanut punch is or Irish moss. Irish. I have no idea what that stuff is. Peanut punch. Irish moss sounds okay. Peanut punch sounds very uh, suspicious. Um, man, I gotta stop. I gotta end this stream soon. I'm not gonna have a voice tomorrow. I was watching a movie when I saw you did a broadcast. I dropped the movie and came to see your video. 3N. Bro. Bro. That movie must have been pretty pretty shitty for you to come watch my stream. Must have been a terrible movie for you to quit your movie and then go watch my stream. Because I promise you I'm not that entertaining. But I think... I think I'm going to end the stream fairly soon and I'll give you a little idea of what I'm thinking for for a future video and a series of videos is that I am going to um, do a video on my favorite pictures for the month. So uh, I take pictures for my dealership not for the internet or anything like that, more for social media. If you guys want to check out the social media, uh, just let me know, I'll tell you about it. But I take pictures uh, and post it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for the dealership. And I'll probably do a video on the top, probably the, the top 10 pictures of the month I take. Um, it's a lot of fun for me. And, like, this is one of my favorite pictures of all time that I've taken. And actually, this might have been the first time I took pictures for our dealership. Um, it's just a, stunning. It's absolutely stunning. There's nothing else I can say about it. It's awesome. So, anyways. Anyways, that's probably going to be a, a future video of mine. Andy, I was away for a bit. Did you get the link I sent to your messenger about the 5.6 liter? Um, hold on a sec. Okay, it's not there. Um, okay. Okay. Um, was it Instagram? What do you mean messenger? Which messenger did you send it through? Uh, about the, uh, that other V8 you're talking about. Hmm. I'm looking around, Andy. <laughs> It's funny, I just pulled up uh, YouTube and it says current live streams and my face pops up, which is funny. That is funny. 
Which Lexus color is your favorite? Oof. Ooh. Depends on the car. It's it really depends on the car. Facebook mess dude, I looked at Facebook Messenger. No, I didn't I didn't get anything through Facebook Messenger. No. Nope, didn't get anything on Facebook Messenger, Andy. From cars to alcohol, all by one pole. Don't, Rafa, are you sp are you speaking English or Polish? I don't understand you. From cars to alcohol, all by one pole. Don't know, bro. Can't follow you. I have no idea what you're saying. I post link here, but chat doesn't allow this. Stand by, I'll try again. Hmm. Now, you said it's on Lexus Enthusiast. Maybe I'll just head over there. And type in, what did you say? It was a 5.6 liter? Um, I have no idea. No idea. All right, guys. I really probably should get going. Holy smokes. Andy, feel free to send that to me on Facebook Messenger. I'll look for it. Uh, I'll keep my eyes peeled and um, if you guys want to support me on Patreon and the channel on Patreon please do so it's just a dollar a month uh, I think let me just pull it up over here uh, I think here's my page there it is so uh, if you become a patron, you get access to the Discord page, which is essentially the live chat that you guys have right now in the live stream, but all the time. Um, and I will thank you, especially in my credits. So much thanks. Uh, if you guys want to be eligible for the monthly giveaways, you have to upgrade uh, to the ES or NX or IS tier. Uh, I'm thinking about even making it available for the, the bottom tier, but we'll see. Um, for this month anyways, this Bluetooth speaker is available to you guys uh, if you donate on the ES or higher tiers um, on the Patreon page. And I put some goals in here, which is kind of fun, uh, so you guys get an idea of what this supporting goes towards. So, I mean, literally... If the first hundred dollars or so I get from Patreon is going back to you guys, hundred percent. Like this is probably a forty dollars speaker at least. Um, now I got it as I won this, but in the future I want to give back to you guys. Uh, going to the next goal here is really going to be about upkeeping my equipment. My computer is getting old at this point. My processor is probably from like five, like six or seven years ago, and it's barely churning out videos now um my graphics card i can barely play games and so there's some things i need to upgrade like for example if i'm going to play forza horizon 4 or forza motorsport i want to have a decent graphics card or uh, this also allows me to upgrade my camera my lenses my lighting lighting is huge you can see right now my lighting is kind of suspect uh, this would definitely help with that next goal now these goals could change at any time that's why i just made these today uh start planning trips to car manufacturers and or uh like say auto shows where i can do coverage for you guys um i can document and complete coverage on amazing vehicles so five thousand dollars per month i would go to japan I would schedule a tour of as many lexus and toyota facilities as i can and go to japan document them, 
put them on my channel for you guys to witness and to absorb. That's what I would do. So that's my Patreon kind of in a nutshell. Um, I just started it about a week ago. It's a lot of fun. It's exciting. Um, I have Patreon only content on there uh, that will only increase over time. But it is it is something fun for me to do other than just the YouTube. So uh, there you go. I don't know. I feel like I'm done self-promoting. You guys already support the channel. You wouldn't be here if you didn't. So I just want to thank you for that. And uh, yeah. Yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got. Uh, sleep good, says Luis. Thank you, Lunatic. Have a good evening. Heading to Patreon right now. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lunatic. You already donated a lot tonight, so I thank you for that. Uh, what time is now there? It is almost 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. Is so GX going to be discontinued, says Dragon? Yeah, it will be uh, probably in three to five years, unless they decide to name the replacement a GX as well, which is a possibility. HVO. I haven't seen HVO. Why didn't Lexus go full electric but wait until 2025? Well, we'll get a full electric before 2025. Mark my words. We will. Um, they originally had their electric, I guess, uh, timeline for 2030 where they would say, hey, by 2030, half of our vehicles will be electrified, meaning uh, hydrogen vehicles as well as hybrids and fully electric. Well, they moved that up five years um, so to, to 2025, like you just posted. Uh, I guess this will be the last topic I'll talk about. Um, Poland's 4 a.m. I think I'm going to sleep. Yeah, you better go to sleep soon. I hope you don't have to work at like 8 a.m. Rafa, gosh, goodness, guys. Don't lose, don't lose sleep over me. But back to HVO. Um, we will have some fully electric vehicles. Now, why did they move up their timeline <clears throat> uh, from 2030 to 2025? That's a huge jump, right, on, on their timeline. So one is the market is demanding electric vehicles more than they thought it would. Um, and that's a really, really, really big deal. That's uh, a huge deal, to be honest. And two... I think their technology and their partnerships have progressed at a rate that has allowed them to be able to secure their battery supply and future battery technologies and electric motor technologies to be able to have 50% of their vehicles electrified by 2025. So there you go. That's what I got to say about it. <coughs> Rafa says, I got night shift. So you got off work and then you started drinking vodka. You should have been in bed though. You should still be sleeping. But anyways, anyways guys, uh, I'm under under 10 viewers. That is time for me to cut it out. Thank you guys so much for supporting. Uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Um, I'll know what else to say. Thanks so much. Peace out. Bye.